Elopements and intimate weddings are on the rise, especially after the pandemic and with the current challenging worldwide issues like inflation. Small weddings have changed the landscape of the wedding market. They are in high demand and will continue to grow in popularity. I believe that they are the fastest growing section in the wedding industry. Times are changing. Today, elopements entail having an intimate wedding as opposed to having a big grandiose celebration. Tiny weddings, intimate weddings, micro weddings, or just the two of you. Basically, I consider a small wedding with 25 guests or less. Still, just because it's a toned down event doesn't mean you can't elope in style. And in this video, I'm going to show you 11 ways to make your day extra special so you don't downplay your elopement wedding. Since you're not going to be accommodating tons of guests, which is what will reduce the cost immensely, you can allocate your budget to details like your dream location, your dream dress. I've spent more than 15 years helping couples plan elopements and intimate weddings. And my couples love the good things in life, travel, adventure, good food, art, and culture. I've noticed throughout the years that small weddings appeal to a wide range of couples from all races and religions. They love being alone together, and even pre-pandemic, they're not up for a big wedding, but they still want to have an unforgettable elopement experience. And I believe that elopement should have the same quality as a full traditional wedding. An intimate wedding can and should be as stylish, unique, and memorable if it's done right. You can incorporate as many details as you like to make sure that your day looks dreamy, is beautiful, fantastic location, gorgeous dress, lovely flowers, and so much more. To help you have rounded up 11 essential aspects that will ensure that you elope in style. One of the first major decisions for your elopement is finding the right location. Everything else will flow from there. Your location will reflect the feeling you're going for and determine your theme. And once you're clear about the vibe that you'd like for your elopement, look for a location that matches it. For traditional weddings, picking a location for the wedding is mainly based on accommodating the number of guests. In planning an elopement, you really have no limits as you can get married almost anywhere. And my tip and best advice here is to not fall for the wedding packages that are out there. You don't want a cheap cookie cut elopement even if you are on a budget. For example, for each of our couples, our team starts the elopement wedding process from scratch, entirely on the couple's vision, their personalities, and their preferences. We help them choose the location to then design their elopement day, and everything from the concept to the day of. And for a once in a lifetime elopement experience, you want to avoid those uh, packages that are out there if you want something unique. So don't fall for the easy way out. Yes, I'm always in favor of choosing an exotic destination if you can, so you can enjoy both the wedding and the honeymoon, spending your time as a newly Mr. and Mrs. away from home, work, and the routine life. But if a destination is not possible, you can elope even in your own backyard, but do it in style. Two, decide on your style. This goes hand in hand with choosing your location. Deciding on your style is one of the main things to think about before you start planning all the other details of your elopement. Your style can be elegant, modern, rustic, boho, or even better yet, create a custom theme, which is what we love to do for each of our couples. You need to think of an overall mood that matches and fits you as a couple. Whether you choose the classic or minimalist theme, you can plan to keep it as simple or as extravagant as you like based on your personal preferences, but keeping it stylish and chic. It's essential to have a cohesive look where every detail is intentional so your wedding elements are not scattered all over the place. Because eloping is an intimate affair, you will have lots of time to focus on yourself. Choose a dress that fits your theme, something that embraces your location and your style. You can splurge on your dream dress by picking your favorite brand or opting for something off the rack for your dreamy elopement wedding. It can be short, long, white, more colorful. And if you're looking for some inspiration on elopement wedding dresses, you can watch this video here. Whether you're planning to hire a stylist for your hair or makeup or plan to do it yourself, you must book an appointment and organize the tools you will need so that you're sure to look your very best. I highly recommend finding a local hair makeup artist and give them your ideas beforehand and show them the look you want along with the dress and your theme colors. Time and budget permitting, have a trial hair makeup a day or two before you loan it. 
Florals are an easy way to take your elopement wedding to the next level, regardless whether you prefer to go for real or flake blooms. Choose the flowers after considering your theme and style for elopement. Stick to a color scheme and to have everything again tied together. When possible, try to choose local florals, greenery, elements, so that you can blend in the natural environment. This will also keep the cost down. For example, in Tuscany, you can use olive branches. In Capri Amalfi Coast, lemon or citrus. In Provence, lavender. Six, get ready together or separately. You can get ready separately, the traditional way, and save the first look at the altar, which is my personal favorite, or you can get ready together. If just the two of you are opening, you'll have plenty of time for photos together throughout the day. You might want to be with your significant other as you get ready and possibly even walk down the aisle hand in hand. In the morning when you're preparing for your big day, you can spend time together sipping on champagne, exchanging gifts, and writing your vows. And if you want help writing your wedding vows, you can watch this video here. As mentioned in the previous section, I personally prefer to have the first look directly at the altar for elopement weddings, especially if it's just the two of you. Saving the first look at the altar is something to look forward to and it's charged with emotion and if you decide on having an intimate wedding with some guest then you can possibly consider a first look if you don't have much time alone together during the rest of the day. It really depends on your itinerary. Sometimes having a first look adds an extra level of excitement and more time together. The preference is really up to each couple. I highly suggest to end your day with a romantic dinner, even if it is just the two of you. Many elopement packages offer the ceremony, maybe one or two hours of photography with the hair, makeup, bouquet, you know, efficient. Personally, I don't offer anything less than six hours of photography coverage as you can't tell a whole story for just a couple hours. Think of your elopement as a book. There is a beginning, a middle, a plot, and an ending. You want to end your elopement day story with a nice romantic dinner. Some ideas are you can either hire a private chef at your Airbnb or go to a local restaurant, ideally somewhere where there's exclusive or private area so that you're alone. For example, it can even be a simple dinner on a beach if you're eloping in San Diego. Design a table with nice florals, candles, and other elements to tie in with your theme. Again, you can go as simple or as extravagant as you like. Stick with the same colors you've used throughout the day to have a cohesive style. Uplevel your elopement wedding by incorporating a lovely cake, champagne to celebrate your day. There's nothing better than to have a beautiful ending to your elopement day. I have a whole video on how to create your elopement timeline and you can watch that here. If your budget allows it, then why not have some fireworks and some dancing? Include a first dance, just like you would for a traditional wedding, even if it is just the two of you. You can hire a local musician and have them play throughout the evening. Choose your favorite songs for your first dance and then dance the night away. It goes without saying that it is important to hire a good professional photographer for your elopement wedding. Preferably someone local who also speaks your language and knows the area well to help you with your newlywed photos in your chosen location. You need to book them in advance to avoid last minute hassles if photography is important to you. An elopement photographer is different than a wedding photographer as it is more intimate, so choose somebody who's knowledgeable with elopements. And to help you choose a photographer, you can watch this video. Let your family and friends know you are married. You can let them know before you elope or if you like, when you return and have a get together party with your family and friends. It can be a full fledged party, a brunch, or choose a party theme derived from your destination that you elope. You can include an album with photos from your elopement or other elements. Again, you don't need to downplay your elopement wedding. Instead, elope in style and make it a memorable day, a celebration it deserves to be. I've given you some ideas throughout this video to incorporate on your big day and make it extra special. Everyone can have an ordinary elopement done in one to four hours, but I highly suggest going beyond the ordinary and make your day extraordinary. I hope these ideas have inspired you to make your elopement a once in a lifetime experience. And if you like this video, please hit the like button so that I know to make more videos like this one. And if you're eloping, consider subscribing to be notified each time I post a new video. If you have any questions, comment below. You can reach out to me directly if you are interested in knowing about my services and helping you design your elopement. 
I style all of my couples' elopements and help them choose everything from the destination to the venue, the time of year, attire, and everything else. And if you want to DIY or do it yourself, design your, your elopement yourself, you can take my online course, Style Your Elopement, where I walk you through step by step on designing your elopement. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao, ciao!